Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist for ICD-10 PCS from the beginning so that you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 4 of Inpatient Coding series and today our focus will be on the obstetrics section of the ICD-10 PCS codes. I am Vinay Kumar, a carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped more than a thousand professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for certifications from both AHIMA and AAPC. I am dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of the first character in the obstetric section of the PCS codes. So let's have a look at it. As we all know, these are the seven characters in the ICD-10 PCS section, body system, root operation, body part, approach, device and qualifier. And these are the 17 sections overall in the PCS. And in this video, we will specifically talk about the obstetrics section value. Again, remember, multiple codes from different sections can be reported together based on the combinations of procedures performed. The obstetrics section contains codes for procedures on products of conception such as the fetus, the umbilical cord and the placenta. There is no differentiation of products of the conception based on gestational age or trimester of pregnancy. Now the gestational age and trimester of pregnancy is only found in the ICD-10 CM for the diagnostic coding and not in the uh, ICD-10 PCS. So let's understand a bit more about the obstetrics section. Now, just like the other sections, characters in each section have a specific meaning and this table shows what each character value means in the obstetrics section. The medical and surgical as well as, as, well as the obstetrics section have the same character meaning in the tables unlike the rest of the other sections. These two have the same se uh, seven character values, but the other sections vary a little. We'll talk about those. So character one represents the section to which the procedure is coded. Character two is the body system. Character three is the root operation. Character four is the body part. Character five is the approach value. Character six, if a device is left in place and character seven identifies the qualifier. Now, this section identifies all procedures done on the products of conception only for the obstetrics. If you see the table, you will understand that the body part value is only products of conception and products of conception retained and products of conception ectopic. The fetus, amnion, umbilical cord and the placenta are the products of conception identified in this section. The body system character always is pregnancy in this particular section. It's, uh, it doesn't change at all. Okay, And remember, only those procedures on the fetus and its products are coded from this section. But surgical procedures on the pregnant female such as like episiotomy are actually coded to the medical and surgical section. The fourth character identifies the products of conception. There are three variations of the products. One is a viable pregnancy. So the second is a displaced or an ectopic pregnancy. And the third type is a non-viable pregnancy such as uh, spontaneous or missed abortions and postpartum retention of uh, products. The fifth character 
is similar to the medical and surgical section for the approach values. It doesn't change in this particular section. The sixth character is used for devices such as fetal monitoring electrode placements. And the seventh character for this qualif uh, for the qualifier is used to specify the type of extraction or the type of C-section or the type of fluid removed from drainage procedures. That's the importance of the seventh character from this particular section, obstetrics. Now, there are two important root operations in the obstetrics section, abortion and delivery. For abortion procedures, we need to understand the difference between the root operations extraction and abortion in this section. Induced abortion to terminate pregnancy is coded to abortion as the root operation and products of conception as the body part value. But to treat missed or incomplete spontaneous abortion or a miscarriage, the root operation would be extraction and the body part would be products of conception retained. Now, the root operation delivery is used only for a normal vaginal delivery. Remember, there is only one single code in the entire PCS coding tables for normal vaginal delivery. This is the table. Obstetrics, pregnancy, delivery, products of conception, external, no device, no qualifier. Okay, and again, remember, Caesarean section is coded to extraction as the root operation and not delivery. That's a very important point you need to remember. There are, okay, so these are two examples for a normal vaginal delivery and a low transfer caesarean section. You see the codes? The approach for the normal delivery is always external and for C section it is open. Otherwise, the, both are coded to the obstetric section. The body system value is pregnancy, but the root operation for a normal vaginal delivery is delivery, but the root operation for the C-section is extraction. Body part value doesn't change, it's products of conception for both the procedures. The approach is different for normal vaginal delivery, it is external and the C-section it is open. There is no device involved. But for the C-section, the qualifier values identify the type of the C-section. In this case, we are talking about low transfer. So, the qualifier will be low. And uh, this is how the tables are organized for these two procedures, normal vaginal delivery and low transfer caesarean section. As stated earlier, C-section should always be coded to extraction as the root operation in PCS. So, for... C-section, obstetrics, pregnancy, extraction, products of conception, open, no device, and depending on the type of the qualifier, high, low, and extra peritoneal. Now, a couple of other examples. A patient admitted in active labor at 39 weeks labor progresses and after 10 hours, patient is ready to deliver. Due to patient fatigue, mid forceps over a midline episiotomy were used to deliver the infant and an episiotomy was then repaired. So basically, this is a mid forceps delivery and also an episiotomy, right? So this is an example where the delivery is coded to extraction from the obstetric section in this case, okay? But the episiotomy is coded to the medical and surgical section under the root operation division because episiotomy is done on the mother. Okay, and these are the tables showing the uh, mid forceps delivery and the episiotomy. Note the qualifier values of low, mid and high forceps for the delivery here. So, the key points to remember our obstet obstetric section includes products of conception only. Obstetric section includes two additional important root operations. One is abortion, the other one is delivery. Caesarean section is coded to the root operation extraction always. 
normal vaginal delivery has only one code in the icd10 pcs so these are the most important points from this particular video and these are a few references that you can use for uh, coding purposes thank you so much we will talk about the next section which is placement in the icd10 pcs